Hey friends, if you are looking for a free alternative to Heroku to deploy your Monstack application, then you are at the right video. In this video, you will learn how to deploy your Monstack application on Render, a free resource or alternative to Heroku. So let's get started. I have built a simple React application with MongoDB, Node and Express as backend. And what it does, it takes a name of uh, an exercise, the load that you are going to use in exercise and uh, the repetition you are going to do for that exercise. And when you click on add workout, it will add workout and you, uh, you can see the list of workouts here. Let me add one more X, Y, Z, let's say 10 and let's say two repetition and I'll add workout. You can see that. You can also delete that workout from this list by clicking on this delete button. So this is a kind of a simple demo CRUD application on React and using uh, Mongo, Node and Express as backend. And you can see that here this application is at this point running locally on my machine. So once I am satisfied with the performance of the React application. What I'll do, I'll stop both the front end and back end. I'll go to GitHub, create a new repository and push the code to GitHub. Once I push the code to GitHub, I'll go to Render. Here, if you haven't created account with Render, then you need to create account with Render. Once you create your account, it will ask you to connect your GitHub repository to render and you need to connect that. You need to provide authentication to your GitHub. Once you do that, you will see a kind of interface where you can select a service and start the deployment process. But since I have gone past to that step, I'll see this kind of interface. And when I go to new, I can see there are multiple uh, things that I can deploy a static site, web service and private service and things like that. So I'll first deploy my backend. For that, I'll choose web service. I need to select the repository. So I'll hit connect the repository. It will ask for a name that will be a part of your URL as well. So I'll say mon workout backend and there is a typo. Now there is nothing much you need to change. But since we are using a folder structure here, my backend is in my backend folder and my frontend is in frontend folder. So I'll say the root directory is backend. And inside that root directory, start my application using npm start command. Before you move forward, make sure in your local development environment inside your backend folder, uh, you'll have package.json file and make sure it has a start command. And you can check uh, in your local environment by running npm start and see if the uh, application runs or not. So now the application is running locally. So I'll hope that it will run on server as well. Then you need to hit create web service. It will start the process. And you can see the logs here. Now I'm using MongoDB and I'm using MongoDB Atlas live URL. So I will provide that URL into environment file. I will create new environment variable and provide the key and value in this section. Uh, I'll put that and I'll come back once I do that for security reasons. Now I have added my environment variables. You can put all your environment variables here and let's go to events. Here, the application is deploying. 
the, the deployment is in progress. Let this backend deploy and meanwhile we will start the deployment process for the front end as well. So for React, I'll go to new on the plus sign and I'll select static site. Again, I'll select my repository. I'll hit connect. I'll say mon workout front end, but there is a typo. Oh, let me correct that. Then my root directory is front end in my case. Select yarn build here, build command. And for the build, I write here build command to build the React application. And then I'll click on create static site. This will again start the deployment process. I have again environment variable here. So I will create the environment variable here as well. So let me come back once I create the variable. Now I have created my environment variable for the front end as well. I will go to this redirect and rewrites though it is not compulsory to follow this step but I will add a rule that whenever a source redirects go to index.html and then rewrite the application. I will save the changes. Let me go to events and you can see the deployment process is under progress. So meanwhile, let's look at our backend. So the backend is deployed. You can see a green tick here. Let me click on the backend website URL and we see a hello world, which is a kind of sanity check for my backend. Let me close this. Let's go to again the front end and let's see the process is finished or not. So it's in still progress. So I will uh, resume the video back once the deployment is finished. Now you can see that the build process is finished and we see this uh, green uh, box with a white live text. So that means the application is successfully deployed and live on this URL. So let me click the URL. So you can see the application is up. Uh, let me create an exercise. Let's say ABC and the load will be 10 and repetition will be 1 and let me add the workout. So sometimes your React application cannot simply work and there is no particular reason for that. But what you can do is that you go to manually and deploy latest commit. It will start the deployment process. Uh, the basic reason behind this may be the environment variable cause it did not get the environment variable for the first time. So that why it takes, you know, this kind of uh, procedure to redeploy in order to make it work. Uh, I will resume the video once the deployment process finishes. Finally, I figured out the reason behind the application was not. Finally, I found the reason behind the application was. Finally, I found out the reason uh, for which the application was not working properly and that was there was a typo in my environment variable but i think i have now fixed it and let's see let's see the deployment process and once it deploys uh, hopefully we will see the outputs as well yeah so it's live now hopefully fingers crossed Okay, we got one exercise we added when we run it locally. Let me delete this. 
yeah it's working let me add one more a b c d let's say 10 kilo of load let's say two repetition and hit add workout yeah so everything is working fine now so again yeah uh, in case you create this kind of application make sure you uh, provide uh, correct environment variables otherwise you will face error so hopefully this video is helpful to you and i'm sure you have now learned how to deploy your monstack application on render and you know show it to your potential customer happy freelancing uh, if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps making me this kind of content thank you for watching peace